We found this iguana in a rock structure, digging a hole. We thought that she might be gravid, but within further investigation, we found out that she has a massive infestation of parasites. As you guys may have heard, iguanas are in South Florida. Wild, feral. Some people call them pets gone wild. There's not that much known about iguanas in Florida and the parasites and other diseases they might carry. Some literature says something about salmonella in their feces. Some other incidents are of iguanas pooping in pools and pooping on the sidewalk and on people's houses. Well, now we learned and realized that some of them might actually carry internal and external parasites. Today, we have this iguana, like I said, has a massive infestation of parasites, and we are going to be examining and removing said parasites for scientific and education purposes. So if you guys are ready, like, comment, hit the red subscribe button. And without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and clean out this invasive iguana for research. One right here, because from what I've seen, this little bugger is a magnet. Real quick, we're gonna just give you guys a real quick examination of this specimen. And you can see there right underneath her chin, we're just gonna call them parasites. We're not sure the exact species of them, but we're gonna go ahead and be removing these guys in a little bit. And we do have a pair of tweezers, okay? Then we have a, a bowl with some solution right here, guys. And this solution is going to euthanize the parasites, okay? And we do have a notepad right here as well, just in case we need to jot anything down. All right, it's not gonna hurt, guys. It's just like, did I put that in there? Like you're removing like a piece of like, like maybe like a little, like, like a little sticker on your skin. You know those weird things that get stuck in your skin? Yeah, look at them all right there. Check them all out, guys. Loaded. This is a common parasite out here in the wilderness, anywhere you go. So now that we got the net clear, that was pretty good. Check out what we got in our, in our collection bin right there. You guys are seeing it. We have about 15 organisms that were removed just from the chin. Look at, look. Let's just, let's just get, look at that. Wow. You can actually see its nose right there. You see that? Man. That is sick, dude. One by one. And I believe the bigger ones, like gray color, those are the ones that are feeding right now. They're fatter. But those little, you see those little like uh, crab looking ones, like right that this one? Look at that. Those guys are trying to get some, trying to eat. She's not fighting, she's not resisting. Cause this is like an itch that she probably wasn't able to scratch in a while, you know? And then it's just after a while you just, any organisms that we remove, guys, the solution is going to go ahead and sterile that spot. He's done. They're trying to crawl out, but look at him. He's done. You see? You're done, buddy. You're done. You're done. You're done. And she is looking really, really good. Just like that, guys. Just a little TLC. We're able to make a difference. There's always that chance that uh, external parasite organisms can get on them. And of course cause them a great deal of suffering and pain and just being annoying guys. So we're gonna go ahead, she's hanging out right here. You be good. And then we're gonna go look at the organisms that we got, okay? We're gonna try to count them out just so we have a, you know, kind of a rough estimate of what we are able to get. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 
30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So about 40 of these parasitic organisms were removed from this hairy iguana. Check that out right there, guys. It's your friend, Roger the Iguana Man. I hope you guys enjoyed this little scientific segment, collecting data and looking at other aspects of invasive green iguana populations. Like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want to see more. Peace.